All right, so we're going to take a look at the digestive system of the dogfish shark, and let's begin. So first you have the teeth right here. You have the beautiful dentition right here. Kind of small teeth, but nevertheless teeth. And next you have the tongue, and this is the tongue right here. It runs from here to here. It's a movable in the dogfish shark, unlike humans, where we have a movable tongue. And next you're going to have the pharynx over here. The pharynx runs from here to here. This whole area is known as the pharyngeal cavity, by the way. And after the pharynx, you're going to have the esophagus, which in our shark, for some reason, runs through here. And I'm actually going to plug in a probe through here. Runs from here to about here, where normally would run a smaller distance, say, from here to here. So this forms your esophagus. And after the esophagus, food is going to go, go down. Well, before I, I talk about the esophagus, it's important to mention that it's muscular and it has papillae right here to, you know, it, it's, it's just part of the structure. And after the food travels through the esophagus, it's going to run into the stomach. Now, the stomach is a long portion right here. And it's a pretty long, big stomach, you know, in comparison to humans. And within the, the stomach, you have rugae, which are these beige projections in here. And it folds up the stomach. They're the folds of the stomach, rather. And then the stomach, food is going to run from the esophagus, remember, to the stomach all the way into the pyloric sphincter. Now, before I show you where the pyloric sphincter is, I must mention this is the duodenum. So here we have the stomach, this is the duodenum. The pyloric sphincter is located within the duodenum about here, right by the stomach. So food's gonna come from the stomach into the pyloric sphincter, and then it's gonna go into the duodenum because the pyloric sphincter is connected to the duodenum. And so the duodenum, the responsibility of the duodenum is to absorb nutrients. Now, how is it going to do that? It needs enzymes. Where it's get, where's the duodenum going to get the enzymes from? It gets the enzymes from the pancreas, which is right here. So the pancreas releases enzymes into the duodenum, and these enzymes will help to digest carbs, lipids, and proteins. Now, after going through the duodenum, it's going to go into the valvular intestine. So from here, the nutrients are going to go into the valvular intestine right here. The valvular intestine is this whole, it's pretty long, I think, and wide. And from the valvular intestine, or within the valvular intestine rather, let's take a look at the internal structure. We have spiral valves. And guys, so this is all part of the digestion process that goes on in the body, again. And so after these spiral valves, food is going to come down into the colon. The colon runs from here to here. It's relatively small in dogfish sharks, and humans it's much bigger and so after you hit the colon then food is virtually going to come out through here through the cloaca and that will do it for the digestive tract however let's look at the hepatic portal system so you're going to have uh is it blood or nutrients you're going to have nutrients coming through the uh the veins right here so they're going to come through here. The veins are the yellow. This is the anterior uh, portal vein, if I'm not mistaken. And this, you have another one right here, the posterior portal vein. But they're going to go, nutrients are going to run through here. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to lead all the way up to the, the liver. And the liver, as you can see, here's the liver. So before that, it's going to lead all the way, these yellow veins, into the liver. And the liver is going to detoxify and things of that sort. And that's it this portion right here is the spleen this is the spleen it's connected to the stomach and the sphincter and the duodenum this area right here this is the spleen though